Okay, uh, good evening class. I will uh, discuss to you the f our first lesson, uh, which is uh, Revit Architecture 2014. So let's get started. First is uh, I want you to click the Revit button here. This is a uh, 2014 Revit Architecture. Since uh, I already downloaded uh, Revit 2016. Uh, I have a t Revit 2016 here. Uh, Revit 2014 or 2016, you can download it for free in autodesk.com. Just sign up, use your college ID, and that's it. So download it and you can start using the Revit architecture. Okay? So I just click the Revit button, which is the Revit 2014. And then you can see the sample project of uh, Revit is already here. Okay. These are the sample project of Revit. You can check it, check it, and uh, browse it. Okay, but first we will focus on creating new projects, creating new projects, and there are many templates here available: construction template, architectural template, structural template, and mechanical template. In families, we, you can load your families later on. I will discuss it to you but first we will focus on creating new project just click new and then you can see the construction template this is the default of Revit 2014 okay just open create new project and open just click it and then you will see that there is a folder us imperial okay but we are not using us imperial since we are here in oman either in the philippines we are using metric system okay so not not of these none of these we are going to use okay because if you use one of these even the default uh the scale will be in inches and in feet okay so we are going to up one level on this area just click up one level and then there is an imperial and metric so click the folder us metric double click it and default metric just click default metric double click it okay and it will load to your revit 2014 so so this is our drawing area okay and then this is this is uh, the quick access toolbar this is the revit button these are the tabs okay the tabs we are focusing first in architecture tab in the quick access toolbar there are save uh, uh, you can measure you can have the uh, dimension like in AutoCAD okay and uh, text 3d section of okay, 18 line and uh, in this area this is called the properties palette okay properties palette since uh, the properties floor plan these are the properties of this uh, area is uh, will be shown here because since we are in the floor plan here level 1 in project browser you can find the view the plans floor plans elevation legends and other useful tools or view and here you, uh, you will see the scale 1 is to 100 also here 
1 is to 100 you can change this one as per your design uh, need maybe 1 is to 200 or 1 is to 300 depends to you no? and uh, these are the visual graphics later on I will discuss it to you okay but first the first thing we will do uh, like uh, I told you before in the class that's in, in designing a building of course we are asking the clients uh, their consideration uh, their their needs in their uh, building or their requirement of, okay but here in uh, Revit architecture we are uh, in designing in, in in AutoCAD we are first we will establish the property line of course we need to ask for the crew key okay so we we already know the setbacks but uh, right now uh, uh, we will discuss it on the last part because uh, this is uh, on the tab of uh, massing and site so this will be the last part so since we are in uh, the, the, the lecture or the, the lesson for Revit architecture uh, we are first uh, discuss about the walls and the levels so first thing to do in your projects we should go to the elevation these are the elevation uh, icon okay these are the west uh, east north and south okay and then if I go I'm going to go I'm going to south elevation just click it and then you will see the level so we have level 1 we have level 2 but here you see in the floor plans there is a level 1 and level 2 take note of, about this class if the, the the letters or the the word here is on bold in bold okay meaning to say you are on that view if I go to level 1 double click it I am in level 1 but even you want one click here in level 2 it doesn't mean that you are in level 2 because the level 1 is already bold so try to try to observe what's happening around here because this is very critical in uh, creating a plan especially in creating walls okay first thing to do is I am going to south elevation south elevation and then I will establish what I will establish the levels but there are two types uh, for me uh, you can copy the levels and uh, multiple copy or either you can go to this icon datum in datum I will show you if I click datum click and then click here click here so it takes a lot of time but the advantage of this part is uh, click one more because we will establish what the levels so the standard uh, for example the level from natural grade level or natural ground line level uh, from the ground floor level will be 600 so we have four steps so 150 each I will type 600 so it will be 600 and the height from uh, this uh, ground floor le level to the uh, first floor level is 3400 so it's just fine and I will move that one I click this part and then the height of this one will be 3000 okay so it's 3000 mm so from here I just click this part and then I go from this part for the parapet 1000 so I already created natural I, I will type here this is double click NGL 
Yes. Would you like to rename the corresponding view? Said yes. Because it will definitely change the name from here, the floor plan. Okay? In the floor plan. So yes. If I said no or I click no, definitely it will not shown here. So click yes. So you see, it will appear here. I click this part because it's overlapped to each other. Okay? Just click this part and then you will see the add elbow, small elbow here, and it will go down. Then next, this part is what? The ground floor level. Ground floor level. The corresponding part, yes. Okay, so it will change also here. I told you that do not focus only on the drawing area but focus here focus here focus here what's happening so from here this is another what this is the first floor level okay and it will change here first floor level what else this is what the roof level yes and what's this one ah, ah. Yeah. Level. so it's overlap again so I don't want to see that this portion is overlap to this portion so I want to click this elbow at elbow again and push it up push it up okay so already push it up so let's see it i already created a level okay level one level two level three so that is the first uh, procedure that you can do so the crucial part for this uh level is uh, when you create new level you just catch this part or the constraint or the hidden line or dash line from here and then one from here okay so it takes a lot of time rather than because my methodology is just uh, i will delete this one okay i'll delete this one and then i just click this one and copy this one you see this one copy and then I constraint just click constraint click multifold okay and I just copy from this one one two three four five for example five so this one is a uh, 600 This one is 3,400. Come back. This part, 3,400. This one will be 3,000. This one will be 1,000. this one excess okay so have you noticed for from this method it's color blue meaning to say that this part are not included or not shown on this part so how to show this part is go to view view tab plans and views floor plan just click and drag okay all and it will show here automatic okay and I go to south elevation I can change this one into ground floor level yes first floor level yes 
and this one is uh, roof level yes. this one is the parapet so that's it so not overlap here I want, don't want to overlap so I click this one and drag so the disadvantage when you are creating from architecture if you are creating from datum the disadvantage between the two in levels on creating levels your level you just catch and then go on the side and try to align if it is not constrained it's going the the levels not align like this so that's the disadvantage of these levels but you don't need to go to view and floor plans in the other hand the other procedure ju you just copy from this part you multiple copy constraint it's just a straight but the only problem is you need to what go to floor plan views and floor plans in order for you to show here so that will be our first topic so try to check it out and try to notice every single details and the line okay so if you already edited it in the south definitely it will not shown edited on the I mean the alignment as you can see here in south I already arranged the elbow okay but here in the north is still overlapping so you need one by one level by levels you change it or modify it okay just change it and modify it so that will be our uh, first topic uh, adding levels okay adding levels and try to practice your eyes moving here from the properties moving in the project browser and moving on these tabs okay